And what the heck is even going to be going on in that maid cafe? I don't want to know. You don't want to know. I've been told it isn't as bad. However, as like it could be. But who knows? Its existence scares me. But, I digress. Hello, YouTube. Consider going over to Twitch and watching this live. Or not. And I, I do just upload the whole ass stream VOD to YouTube. So, like, not really losing anything. But, um... Yeah. Just kind of waiting for folks to show up. Speaking of, welcome, Lila. Glad to see you. Hey! Oh, God. My buddy Chris read the notification. Oh, jeez. How you doing, Chris? Yep, the trusted Vistaria Saga 2 addict, who will show up to every stream until I've beaten Vistaria Saga 2, move on to a Fire Emblem game, and then they vanish forever. Which is fine, by the way. I didn't mean that as a dig. You, you want the Kaga Saga, you're here for the Kaga Saga. And then when the Kaga Saga is done, you vanish into the wind. Gone without a trace until Vestoria Saga 3 launches. Yep. Just gonna give a few minutes for people to get here. Oh, I don't even want to think about how a Vestoria Saga Iron Man would go. That sounds horrifying. This game lets you save every turn for a reason. But maybe someday. There are too many alternative loss conditions. Yeah. Oh. At the very least, you know what? I've failed so many Iron Mans because a green unit died. Yeah. This game will do that. Good lord. Like... Give me one little second. Just gotta... Arrange my life properly. Yeah, thank god I'm out of this mess. Like... I love this game, I love its maps, this mess though, I will gladly do without. Oh jeez. Okay. Alright. Let's just... Why the fuck would you feel Jonathan on this map? Like, do you really need the convoy? I don't even think there's a shop in this map. Alright. I'm too lazy to undeploy him. Good lord, it is a two second option in the menu. Okay. Alright, what's the counterpoint? What's the counterpoint? But I need Jonathan. For what? What happens on this map that you desperately need- There are no other old men in this game? Fair enough. 
You've stated your case very well. Alright. Uh, ask Master for free XP. Oh god, yeah, those undead are just going to be showing up the entire time, aren't they? Alright, you know what? Let's get rid of... Yeah, let's, uh... Well, you can get rid of you... I'm waiting for the Jonathan Taskmaster tech to become meta so you can rig movement levels on him. My goodness. Alright. I know how this map works, and I know the second I kill this guy, some the goon squad's gonna show up. So I want to make sure that when the goon squad shows up, I'm ready for them. And as of right now, I am not quite ready for them. So what the heck are you? Yasma. Yasma nuts. Alright. Amlute can move up there. And then Foros. And then you just go right here with your hunting bow. And then we'll heal you because why not? Alright. Attack. Yeah, you'll just outright kill him. Okay. We'll hit the end turn button. You're gonna hurt, and it's gonna be sad. But Amloot, it's gotcha. Okay. Gasify is nuts. Alright. Listen, there was a lot of plot stuff that happened in chapters 20 and 21. The pirates were more important. There we go. That's- they just drove over Barzelfen, by the way. Like, they just drove over him. They ki- Wait, was that Skeleton- no, uh, the YouTube thumbnail last episode was about, um, the pirates. <laughs> this dude's name is Genius. That's funny. Alright. So, with that established... And, like, that's what Dell is saying. Like, there was actual plot-important stuff that happened last, um, episode. Like, on the last stream. But I instead willingly chose to just talk about the pirates. Alright, no, this, this should work. Like, Amlut's going to be hurting. He is no longer going to be hurting. He is going to be hurting. Yeah, we killed a major antagonist. Yeah, that is indeed what happened. Oh, right, got a Kanto. Alright, um, and then you... What the hell do you have? Oh god, they have Cutlie? That's eh, not... Wait, I don't care. <laughs> okay, but killing Lagneel is not as cool as becoming Sail. See? They get it! Ooh, a healing staff. That's actually very helpful. Um, and then beyond that, yeah, you just come down and kill... Yes. Oh, I'm prioritizing it as cut lie, just because I don't know how the fuck it's actually pronounced, and I think saying it that way is funny. Alright, now hold on. Wait a minute. Okay, so whoever fights right here... We'll have to fight some dudes. But I don't think it matters too much. 
Yeah, no, Zaid is fine. In fact, I can just leave him right there. None to worry about. Ambush fly Sark moment? Sorry, I have no idea what the heck it is you're talking about, but I know that this man is very dead. More magic. Nice, rock on. Oh, Phoebe's proof, okay. I could do that, but I want to save that for, like, later maps, because we're getting to, like, the end of the game, and I just know the final chapter is going to be trivialized in some way, thanks to that kind of horse shit. Also, this dead guy wasn't there before. And that's interesting to me. Alright, let's sort of grace it. And then to finish us off, Bert, baby girl, get him. Alright. Get fucked. Oh my god, really get fucked? Holy shit! What? Ho hold on. Where? Where the hell are these two going? Oh, they're running to heal that guy! Oh, I've accidentally caused myself to be free from some damage. Okay. Yeah, okay. So let's see here. Bert? Just kill him. Excellent. You might be a problem. You are going to be a problem. So we have Genius. Or, no, wait. Genius won't be a problem. Yeah, he won't be a problem at all, because I'm, I'm about to do some really intense maneuvers here. Alright, we're gonna talk. We're gonna start with you. Nice. That's hot. You know what else is hot? Zay doing this. Uh-huh. And you know what's even hotter than all of that? This is where I use Phylarsk. It's nothing personal. Oh. Oh, I assure you. You're fucked. Your Majesty, my sweet princess, I'm sorry I failed you. Well, maybe you shouldn't have been evil. Let's see, level 25, level 30, all right. So you just weaken him. Oh no, you have multi-strike, right. No, that's just going to do that. Alright. And, oh, we could just kill that one. I mean, yeah, sure. Let's just kill him. Castor, getting more stats. I'm pretty sure they won't keep the ships. But, yeah, they're not going to keep the boats. But a man can dream. Mm-hmm. Going up to here, healing up. What turn is it? 23, all right. And you're what, by 30? Yeah, now nah, we're good. Oh, this is the lance that was at the lake. Oh, oh. Ooh. 
Oh. Oh, that. <laughs> oh, that could be good. Ooh. Tap strength and dex with a six strike lance. That's the good Kush right there. Alright, so now we need to go up and kill this guy. Fucking dark sleep have an ass. Thankfully, I happen to know a beautiful young woman who can get that shit done. God bless. I'm still wondering why there's just a forest pit up there. Next to, like, a giant beanstalk or whatever the fuck. I feel like that should be explained to me, and it hasn't been. But, you know. I think this is more likely to hit in the long run. Yeah, there we go. More proficiency, cool. Uh-huh. Alright. So right here, right now. Yeah, we can kill that one. And then we can just, you know. Kill the other one. We actually can't. We cannot quite reach. Damn. That is unfortunate. Woo! I mean, why? Well, might as well just keep it on Orphelia. Like, I don't see any need to take it off. And Phoebe going up there, you going over there. And then you can just move up. Okay, so, like, what in the hell? What in the actual hell are those gargoyles cooking? Like, what is their goal? Like, because they're just not attacking Foros, which, like, I'm fine with. But why are they not attacking Foros? They're just ignoring him. Ah, uh, whatever, who cares? And then you're gonna move over like this. Alright. It's gonna be soon. Oh, and I've been well dealt. Sorry, you asked me that question way earlier. Uh, yeah, I'm doing fine. Alright, and then you just fly over here. It's gonna be next turn we see what the fuck's up with that maid cafe. And I ain't exactly looking forward to it. Very interesting enemy you have over there. Would be an awful shame if I absolutely murdered the shit out of him. Look forward to it. Alright. I believe he can... Oh, he can reach it soon. Let's see if I get you to right there. Taskmaster. Not quite. Damn it! Almost. Okay. Yeah, Foros is way too far away to make use of that. Alright. I mean, I guess at this point, what are we even doing? Oh, just killing the gargoyles down there, I guess, and a staff of slumber. Oh, can I even reach any of them with the boat bros? Their max range is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope. They are not able to help. 
And we'll just, you know, just in case. Yeah, um, Bert can also... I don't think that they're going to leave. But I don't... They might leave now that they have their cool boat. Like, honestly? I'm hoping that they don't. But this game has put in my brain that if you like a character, they might not stick around the whole time. And it might not even be with much fanfare. I didn't realize a court and slain were just gonna fucking leave. Oh, okay. I'm about to get ambush spawned. I cannot believe the game would do this to me. Alright, Barzelfen. Show me what you got. The entrance has been shut. And the music went nuts. Oh, that's funny. Like, the game is telling me I just made the wrong choice in a visual novel. Like, I just picked the wrong dialogue. See, Staff of Slumber. Alright, well, if he does that last, after everyone else attacks Phoebe, it doesn't matter. So let's just... There we go. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. God damn it, of course. Um... Well, now you can just take care of this guy. Good. Not good. Let's just get them the fuck out of there. Oh, we got some munitions. Cool. And now the pirate bros can be around to kill the gargoyles. Great! This might be, like, the cleanest a map has looked at the end... Ever. Like, period. The Star Wars Saga 2 maps are so crazy. It's you like... I saw that. Hey, thank you for the follow, Hall Monitor of Justice. I appreciate you. I've never seen a map in this game be like, Hey, the enemies are all... Damn it, he started with the Staff of Slumber. Oh, those gargoyles don't move? Huh. Well, that makes everything I'm about to do significantly easier. Alright. Here we go. Let's see this horse shit. Who the fuck are you? This place is for members only, and we don't cater to paupers, so scram! Wait a minute. Barzelfen? What are you doing here? I ain't heard anything from you for so long, I was starting to worry you screwed up somewhere and got yourself murdered. Eh, I got into a few scuffles here and there, but as you can see, I'm fit as a whistle. But what's all this, bro? <laughs> what, can't you tell? I finally gathered up enough resources to open up my own shop. Oh, it's like a dream come true, and you won't believe how much denarii it's making me. Hey, wanna help me out here for a while? I know, I'll make you my new head recruiter. You can go on doing what you do best. Except now we'll be able to make a killing together. You want me to go out and kidnap some more women for you, bro? <laughs> what else? We both know that's the only thing you're good at. You wound me, brother. Huh? Kidnapping adorable innocent woman, women bleh, is something only a heartless monster could do. Ugh, just talking about it makes me want to lose my lunch. Now, I may be a lot of things, bro, but I don't want to die as a monster. Seriously? Damn, that's the last thing I ever expected you to say. Come on, Barzelfen, stop big kidding around. We both know you're an even bigger pervert than I am. People don't change that easily. You must be under the weather or something. Maybe you got a fever, or something even worse. Some kind of mental affliction. Come on inside and I'll fix you right up. My hypno- I don't like where this is going. Like, don't- Don't quote me on this. 
But I think this Hidian fellow might not be running a perfectly over-the-table establishment. Believe me, bro, this is no joke. I'm a changed man now, and I like the new me. I'm finally getting a chance to enjoy an honest life again. You see, bro, I met this lady, and just like that, poof, she changed the way I saw everything. She wasn't especially beautiful or anything, didn't even have perfect proportions, but on the inside, she was so radiant. She was married, and yet she still seemed as innocent and pure as a young maiden. She even laughed at all my stupid jokes. She tended to my wounds, cooked for me, and even sewed up all the holes in my trousers. Oh, just remembering it all makes my heart burn with passion. Is this love? I never knew true love could feel so amazing. It's true, I once lusted for the soft, supple skin of women who had absolutely no interest in me. But then I came to a realization, brother. Ignoring how they feel and pushing my own desires upon them is just plain wrong. Now, I'm perfectly content with admiring pretty women from afar, just like how one would care to protect beautiful flowers in the wild. It's not too late to join me, bro. Set these women free and come live a righteous, honest life with me. I know the only reason they're still here is due to your hypnosis. I'm right, aren't I? I want you to set them free, right now! I'm disappointed in you, Barzelfen. I treated you like a true blood brother, and this- Yeah, because you're a rapist shit! Barzelfen's killing him! I suggest you refrain from uttering such uncouth words, bro. Well, wait, please, I'll do whatever you want. Just don't hurt me anymore! They know he got. I've only leveled him up, like, once. Maybe even twice. I don't want to feel ashamed of my own brother. I want to be proud of you. Repent for your sins now, and I'll help you find an honest new trade. Ah, uh, fine, fine, do what you want. I'll give you the whole estate and all my women. I don't know how to undo the hypnosis, though. You have to figure that one out on your- Something the matter, sir? No, snap out of it! I'm not your master! We still have yet to see a single customer today. Aren't you going to find new ones for us? Hey, pay attention! I just told you I'm not your master! <sighs> what am I going to do about this? The hypnosis might wear off in time, but the question is what to do with you all until then. Master, we're here to serve you. Please give us some work to do. This boredom is killing us. I'll probably have a rough time out there if I just set them free. Alright, looks like I'll just have to take care of them until they wake up. This is a righteous act. I'm sure Lieutenant Cesar would approve. Right, ladies, listen up. I've decided to remodel this place. From this day forth, you're all barmaids in my new tavern. Barmaids? You mean us to serve in food and drink? That's right. And I want it to be a safe, family-friendly restaurant that everyone can work and enjoy together. So get ready to work hard. What are you going to do while we're all working, Master? I've got another job to take care of for the time being, but I'll be back. Then we can all work in the tavern together. Good for you, Barzelfen. Calling them Papa's a little weird, but th that's the joke. Whenever a customer comes in, I want you to take their order over by that red arrow. Now then, get back to work. Ooh. What? Wait, what? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Huh? God damn it, he still has the, um... The imbecile skill. Because I thought at the time, slapping it on... I mean, I'm probably still not gonna use Barzelfen. But, like... Now I know for future reference... Barzel Papa, wait a minute! We've really watched a kidnapper realize the error of his ways and open up a humble family restaurant. That's great. That's funny. That is really funny. And a perfect way to subvert the normal hypnosis thing that is always in these goddamn games. That's wonderful. I don't know if I'm gonna do an analysis on fucking Barzelfen. However, I am beyond happy that he's here. 
Oh, fuck. Am I going to be able to kill this thing? Uh, not like that. Oh, no, wait. Hold on. I have an archer. Doing... I am not going to do... All right, you know what? Maybe for April Fool's Day. Oh, he has first blood. Alright, that in and of itself won't be too terrible. Okay, and then you go down here. Yeah, just sort of grace this. Oh, I didn't realize that guy was, like, on a bridge. Oh, shit, Lamau! Now, there is the chance that Gargoyle moves and just instantly kills me. But, like, come on, what are the odds? Oh, never mind, we're good. Alright. Yeah, um... Boros, you're right there. Welcome to the Tavern of Love. Well, I mean, the chapter is already over. Send a female unit other than Bars. That's not gonna. I am highly skeptical of your words, but for the sake of comedy, I will try them. Did I just get Zade killed without realizing? No. Just the opposite, actually. Alright, be extremely suspicious. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We have the power of infinite saves. So we're just gonna... You are a woman. Nothing happened. Oh, infantry female. Uh, forget infantry female. I don't even have an infantry deployed other than Barzilfen. Oh, they meant before the bars. Oh. Oh, are we really redoing Plum? Is that really what we were about to do? Come on. Is anyone here not, like... I mean, I guess... Yeah, sure. You're only level 6, so, like... Kill him. That'll be a free level up for Alexander. More defense. This might be the first time... I've cleared a map and there's actually been zero enemies left. I don't think I've ever done that. Ha! Lord Zadrian, Regina is but a stone's throw away from us now. And according to our scouts, the enemy's defenses are thin. Before the enemy has a chance to regroup, I suggest we mount a full-scale assault and topple them once and for all. Regina, after all this time, I finally returned. Generals, ready your troops! On my mark, we will storm the royal palace and rescue Princess Athalfis. As you wish, my lord. And if I may, I would like to request that my knights take the vanguard. Please, allow my knights to serve as backup as well. Wait, wait, wait. It's only right that my knights stand as the spearhead of our army. The both of you will fall behind me, and that is final. But sir, as of now, you are the supreme commander of the Cordian army. You should, by all means, let your subjects take the vanguard. Uh, you'll just need to adjust that attitude of yours if you truly mean to lead us from here on out, Duke Foros. Oh, shut your trap already, Cooley. Duke Foros, please forgive my husband's dire lack of wisdom. We've come prepared to carry out your every command, however you see fit. In that case, Duke Foros will take the vanguard, with Generals Cullivant and Farbia serving as his left and right wings, while I march on the center. Woo! All right. Chapters 21 and 22 weren't that bad. Yeah, Vows didn't make it. Uh, I'll admit. 
Alright, this map doesn't seem too bad at first glance. After routing the Margulites in the Lakeland District, Zade's Holy Armor chased them into the capital city that surrounded Regina Castle. As the streets began to run red with demon blood, Zade raced towards the palace, desperate to finally rescue Aethal from the clutches of evil. Meanwhile, in the dungeons beneath the palace... Alright, so I'm about to see an amazing set piece on a shitty map. Bonacel! Woo! Brody, something's awry. Some guards are missing from their posts. And unless my ears are playing tricks on me, I'm quite certain I can hear the sounds of galloping trickling down from the surface. What do you think that means, Prody? Lord Zade's finally returned? My thoughts exactly. At long last, Lord Zadrian has come back to rid our city of its demonic invaders. Fucking baller music! Finally, Lord Zadrian's come home. <laughs> He's come home! For the love of gods, Prody, stop crying. I understand how you feel, but now's not the time to lose ourselves in sentiment. There's no telling what manner of horrors the Margulites might subject their hostages to in times like these. They may try to use us to barter some sort of deal, or simply execute us out of spite. Of course, it won't matter in the long run if disposable pawns like us get offed, but Master Garland's a different story. We gotta save him, no matter what. Footsteps are coming. Um, might you both be Knights of Redessa? Identify yourself at once, woman. Please, you must keep your voices down. It's me, Tasha. I used to run a humble shop in the city until I became a member with the Resistance. I'm best friends with Lilia. The Resistance? What Resistance? A small group of loyal citizens who rose up to assist the army from the Sanctum the moment we saw their sacred flags. We've been busy opening city gates for them and helping other citizens evacuate. All sorts of exciting daring do. In any case, I received orders to sneak down here and free all the hostages I could find. The army from the Sanctum? Then Lord Zadrian truly has returned! Oh, may the gods still my heart! Um, anyway... The stairs out of here are to the northwest. Ah, I managed to bring down two weapons with me. Nearly broke my back on the way, but here they are nonetheless. Excellent. Single spear? Aw, oh, come on. Got a problem? No. It's got no problems, my lady. We should get to rescuing the other hostages as quickly as we can. Did you manage to procure the keys to the other cells? Alright, the keys can only be used once. Okay, so we gotta find Emma? I still remember both of was a single door in the palace. Alright, so we have to start with Emma. Um... <laughs> Brody, we can't be, um... We can't look like this. We're ugly, and we could die, Bonacel. I'm more concerned with the we could die part. So I'll get a move on. Stand it too long? Yes? I can never notice the tantalizing odor wafting up from the bag you strapped to your back. Mind telling me what's inside it? Oh, it's filled with some of my specialties. Figured you prisoners would all be famished. Here, take as much as you want. Fill your gut and give your body the nutrients it deserves. Wow, this is a godsend. I dare say we've never set eyes on such a mouth-watering feast, huh, Bonacel? Indeed. Tasha, you're not only kind, beautiful, great bravery. On top of that, your clean knife will cook as well. If only I could dream as being no such multi-talented. Wouldn't you agree, Prody? Um, yep, truly impressive. What are you blushing for, Pro That's. I like how Prody's like the superficial, cute girls, cute looks, all that, and Bonacel is literally just trying to do his job. What the fuck, Troy? He just got a critical on a 0% crit chance. Hmm. Excellent moves. Not that I would expect anything less from one of Odessa's premier- Oh, hold on, the aspect ratio. Yep, let's just, um... Stretch. 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 There we go. How much longer are you expecting to engage in this farce? I thought I was a hostage, not some gladiator slave. Calm your nerves, paladin. My men and I are about to die from boredom down here in this dank, dingy crypt. What's the harm in entertaining us for a spell? We all know what a brave warrior you are. The winds of Troy, was it? 
Surely a hero as lofty as you would prefer to die valiantly in battle instead of riding away in some old jail. But who do you expect me to fight? If you even think about pitting me against my fellow hostages. Ah, yes, your fellow hostages. Not a bad idea! But first, I'd like you to take on the Dark Knights and Savages who volunteered to fight you. Yep, alright. Let's see how you fare against four at once. Okay. So this is where it all starts. There's Garland. There's a minister. There's a grandmother. There's a rebel. And then there's Emma. Alright. So we need to get to her. Okay. And then from there, we need to get to Garland. And then from there, we would need to leave? Oh, okay. Philly gets surprisingly low in calories. Alright, so... Okay, so they don't have their armor. Which is a problem. Important, make sure you kill one of the skeletons. I just fucked up the first turn. I meant to have... Okay. I want to look around here. Corpse sword, corpse sword. Yama and a defensive jolt. Some, some pot. A corpse sword, a corpse sword, a corpse sword. Got it. Okay. So he's not going to attack me until, like, he has to. What? Once served as a Knight of the Resistance. Okay, view objectives, view dialogues. Wait, how the fuck do I get... This woman, all the way up to that woman. All right, you know what? Fine. No, we're we're fine. Okay. So viewing the dialogues. Yeah, Garland, Tasha. Yeah, okay. Most of these are pretty self-explanatory. All right. <sighs> Jesus. Oh, we got Tasane. That's good. Alright, so the skeletons all just kind of move around. Alright, that's fine by me. I fuck, I forgot she was an FE4 dancer. That's fine. It's fine. Alright, Bonacell, you. Alright. I am Halamazal, brave knight of Shira. Prepare. Oh god. Oh well, get fucked. Okay. So let's go up here with Prody. Just kill him. Alright, you don't have any items. But you do. Trade over. I just need 20 healing. The strawberry cake works for me. Alright. You're gonna have to kill him like this. You're gonna probably activate... Yep. God bless Troy. The man who never stops attacking. He's everything he used to be. You love to see it. A throwing axe collector who even the other savages try to steer clear of. Alright. Fuck! 
I meant to see his dialogue. So I think I see what I'm supposed to do. Because if I kill the fighter, she's gonna show up. And very clearly, she's a good person. So if I just never kill the axe fighter, and I keep letting him attack me from afar with all of his ranged weapons... Okay, that's easy. I understand that, no problem. God, Effie, four dancer. Alright. So, let's see. You have... Ra okay. So, what we're gonna want to do... Move you over there. Good neighbor can activate. You can just absolutely inhale the strawberry cake. And now, Roy just... Alright, that, that right there was a little cringe, not gonna lie. But okay. So far, so good. Um... Bonacel, yep. Alright, I'm gonna really need y'all to stop missing. That's gonna be really sexy if you stop missing. Thank you, Prody. Alright, morale boost... Oh, God, you have a... Mmm. No. I am not going to let myself run into that. I'm going to hope I can morale boost to that. I'm just going to need him to move a little closer. You know what? In the grand scheme of things, moving to the opposite direction is not that bad of a thing either. Alright, so as before, we lead with Bonacel, because that means Prody will give him the defense boost. We open the door. Huh? A young woman? Who are you? Did you come to save me? Sir Bonacel will fill you in on the details. For now, you must escape with us. Alright! Got it, okay. Because this game was made on the budget of 6,000 yen, unused assets, and old favors. Yeah, no, this game is actually free in Japan. But due to the sheer amount of text that had to be translated, it was, um, it cost money in the U.S. And Kaga, like, publicly apologized for it. Kaga might have some occasional moments that make me, uh... Let's just say question things. But I have never had any doubts as to, like, he seems like a really good guy. He just really, really didn't understand copyright. <laughs> How well does this come off? Oh, no. What is his defense? Twelve? Wait, if it's 12 defense... Wait, hold on. I might have food. Mobility, all stats. Yeah, like, I love Kaga and his work. But, like, he really tried to just straight up infringe on copyright. Like, he did not own the shit he was trying to own. Alright, um... Then there's you. Yeah, no, that's not gonna go good. Attack. Oh, he dodged the 56. That's good, that's good. Um... Let's just... Hmm... Yeah, no, I, I want to do that because that'll move him over there. Which will give me an easier way to, um... Deal with him. 
No, he's going after Bonasso. And still missing. Because he really is just that bitch made. Fuck, every turn that passes, though, he gets weaker. Alright, hold on. Save. Happy Valentine. Happy Valentine's Day to you as well, Snyder. Alright, let's see how this goes. The power of support, baby! Fuck. Alright, let's just move move him up, and we'll worry about killing him next turn. Thankfully, Troy is just um allowed to do this. Alright. You're gonna be hurting. But Alright! Got it! I didn't realize he had a Brave Sword. Who was it? You? Yup, alright. So with that knowledge... This can still work. Because now, he's not in range of that. So I'm going to morale boost both of them... And this should work. There we go. We got that defense jolt. And now, no one important is even in danger. It's great. Well, Troy's in danger. A very, very slow danger. All right. We're, we're getting there. We'll just have to see what happens after we unlock Garland. Alright. What is your damage? Alright. Neither of you are in danger of dying when, um... Yeah, yeah, okay, hold on. Give that strawberry cake back. And then you give that strawberry cake to you... And then you consume the strawberry cake. Alright. Got it. We're good. Saw your engaged thoughts yesterday, and it's good to see FE fans not coping about the story. Look, I'll be honest. I do not get people that are like, engage a story or not that bad. But like I said in the video, that's why, um, games aren't just made for my tastes. I got called pretentious on Twitter, too. Which, like, one of my favorite GameCube games is Shadow the Hedgehog. You, you really think I'm pretentious? Um, how's the gameplay doing? In terms of gameplay, comparing this to Engage, I think, is just too goddamn different. They're, like, radically different beasts. I do not think you can... Like, for example, I just missed a 94, and now I'm going to die. But thank God Emma was able to get another move. Yeah. Like, I will say, I think Engage Fire Emblem Engage's story is kind of just bad for the first 20 or so chapters. Oh, you're just ignoring the woman? Did not think you were going to do that, but... Alright. But those last five chapters, man. Holy hell. It is... Like... Ugh. But you know what? That's not what, that's not what I'm going to be here for. Garland! Emma! Master Garland, oh, I'm glad to see you're safe. But what are you doing here? How'd you escape your own cell? Sir Bonacel will fill you in on the details. He's right behind me. Bon- I like how it's like, what the fuck are you? Bonacel. All right, I'm in. You son of a bitch, I'm in. That's literally been the dialogue for the last several bits. Thank you for all the help, Bonacel. It was nothing, Master Garland. I've been worried sick ever since I heard those devils were subjecting you to torture. 
I'm so glad to see you in such good spirits. The feeling is mutual, I assure you. But Sponacel, tell me true. You were especially worried due to my age, weren't you? Heavens, no! I'd never... At ease, Bonacel, that was a jest. The torture was arduous, make no mistake. Yet here we both stand, together again. Now, we just need to make it back up to the surface, so we may reunite with our liege. The princess needs us. Of course, we had a duty to protect her. A duty that we still have yet to uphold. I swear to save her if it's the last thing I do. Couldn't have put it better my myself. Onward, Grand Marshal! Alright. Okay, sorry. I have not been reading chat for a bit. Um, Shadow the Hedgehog used to be pretentious material when I was 12 years old. Fair. Engage's story would be a lot better if people died when they were killed. Some people definitely died. Vistaria Saga 3, when? Whenever it gets translated. It's unfair to compare a free hobby game to a AAA production. Correct. The AAA game never stood a chance. When's the Shadow the Hedgehog stream? It could be whenever the heck you want it to be. If you're wondering, do you really have every GameCube Sonic game just easily at your fingertips? No. Just two of them. That and the essentials. Bloodborne, DMC Devil May Cry, and DMC Devil May Cry. There are only two. Sonic Adventure 2 is actually, like, over there. Sitting. Trust me. I got that thing on me. Uh, ba -ba -ba, let's just... That... Oh, no. I think I just... Alright, hold on. I might have done something fucky. Oh, yeah, I did. I accidentally repositioned... It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. We got this. We got it. Got it. All right. All right. Okay. There we go. Sorry, you asked for a Shadow the Hedgehog stream, and I knew I had Shadow right back there. It's like I had to do it to you. Um. Bro oh, no. It's not that I love DMC Devil May Cry so much I have two copies. I do like the game. I don't think it's a bad game at all like some other Devil May Cry fans. I just think it suffers from the incredibly stupid design choice of, um... Bum, 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 bum. Hang on, just looking around. Okay. It just suffers from the very stupid design choice of actively shitting on Devil May Cry. Like, it's a Devil May Cry game that hates Devil May Cry, and you're gonna wonder why Devil May Cry fans don't like it. The Minister is now yours to command. Alright. What the hell did that fur coat do? Oh, it just gives more defense. Okay. So there's something we're going to have to do here. There's like some piece to a puzzle that I'm not going to know. You know, uh, Engage is precisely my... Yeah, no, the gameplay I will never knock on Engage for. And the story, like, clearly the story is doing some, um, something for someone. That someone ain't me, but you know what? If that someone is you, I'm happy for you. Yeah, like, going for a less serious story in and of itself, not bad. 
Oh, thank you so much for rescuing little old me. Here, take this filthy mop. What? Huh? A filthy mop? It's a spear? Oh my god, Emma can hit people with paralysis strike. That is fucking hilarious. Alright, I have missed so many 90%. It is not funny. Like, have you guys really been keeping track of how many times Brody and Pon... Brody and Bonacel missed a 90%. In fact, I think it just got Bonacel killed. It did. Not. You know what? I'll take it. I'm fine with that. God giveth, God taketh away. He made me miss all of those 90%. So that that 86% would miss. He said, I know I've been unkind, so I will give you this one. And I respect him for it. So I'm going to assume that I need to filthy mop. And then, yes. Alright. We're going to be here a while. XCOM from me. I think one of pure strategy RPG gameplays XCOM. Yeah, um... I have heard very good things about XCOM. And I have been told to try it by many of my friends. I have no doubt that it's a very good, um... game. Like, no doubt in my mind. I've heard very good things about it. Um... And I have played strategy games that are purely just, um, all gameplay, no story. Ah, uh, like, uh, Into the Breach. Anyone ever hear of Into the Breach? That's a really fun strategy game that I thoroughly enjoy. Alright, I gotta use someone else's single spear. I Bonacels is almost broken. Alright. Alright, here we go. The last innocent civilian freed. You came to save me? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Here, have my ward ring. Alright. Wait a minute. Okay, that's probably the last thing I need to open. Alright, does anyone have, like, a staff? Or anything, really? You know what else I should I should give Valkyra Chronicles a shot. That's just enough. Like, there are so many strategy series that I just haven't been able to get into just on account of there being so many goddamn strategy series. <coughs> Sorry about that. Valkyra Chronicles kind of yucky. Well, I mean, it has, like, five games... So, so like, it's probably doing something. I should probably not. All right. Like, all right. I was waiting for that to happen with Troy, but he looks like he's fine now. Ooh. Okay, so that's for Garland. All right. All right, I'm going to go to the right because I assume that's the way to Troy. And that is very, very important. So let's get everyone schmoovin'. Oh, fuck. She needed to talk to someone. That's fine. Um, do I still have that cake? I don't, but I do 
have the herbs. And Garland can heal himself up. And then we'll just get everyone... Got it, alright. Oh, Bonacel can talk to Emma. Should probably do that. When I get a chance. Okay. Oh god, another fucking axe fighter. Right, we'll, we'll be fine. Things are going to be getting a wee little bit dicey. But we'll be fine. Wait, oh no, Bonacel talks to her. Wait, what? Oh no, Emma, not Tasha. I'm an idiot. Alright. Uh-huh. Oh lord, he coming. Mm-hmm. Okay, there we go. Who could talk to people? Tasha could talk to Gar It's Tasha that talks to Garland, not the other way around. That's why I was confused. Alright, sure. Mm-hmm. Got it. Troy is continuing to be fine. Just as soon as I can get to Troy, we are fine. Oh, you must be Master Garland! I just heard so much about you from Lilia that I just knew it was you from the moment I saw you. Lilia? That's what I said. Ah, then you must be Tasha, the culinarian. Likewise, Lilia has told me much about you. Wow, you were able to recognize me that fast? I hope she didn't go too overboard detailing all of my beautiful features. Actually, it was the delicious scent emanating from that sack on your shoulders that gave you away. Let me guess, it's full of slices of your famous cakes? Truth be told, I'm positively famished. Could I trouble you for a bite or two? Of course. Help yourself, Master Garland. Hey, Tato! Tato! Thank you very much for subscribing, buddy! Master Garland? More like Master Garlic. Ooh, got him! Alright, I cannot see the word got him. Okay, this is gonna be, like, weird, I know. But I can only ever hear, ooh, got him, or, like, got him in any kind of variation, specifically in the tone of voice of Alfred's Dr. Robotnik from, um, fan dubs, when he walks into a room and he says, I'm like Gru, but I came before Gru. Call me Egg Gru. Ooh, got him. I cannot fucking hear that. Without that. Alright, hold on. Um, you had the... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Here's how we're gonna do this. Prody is going to get the that. And the that. Alright. And then th this is gonna require a save. And then you're going to go over here. And you are going to grab those two things... And then you can counterattack him. Alright. Which means that Garland has to take out one less goon. When the time comes. Buck. No, hold on. No, that, that's fine. That's fine. We can go back. Okay. Trade. Get the things. Um... Where's Bonacel? Bonacel, Bona, Bona, Bonacel. Okay. Talk. Emma, are you alright? I hate to imagine what horrible things those demons might have done to you. Sir Bonacel. Those bastards. They beat you, didn't they? I'm so sorry for getting you involved in all this. On the contrary, Sir Bonacel, I distinctly remember you telling me to run when Medessa Castle first fell. But I disobeyed you. You said you couldn't bear to leave the princess's side. You felt bound by your duty as her handmaid. Duty? No, I wouldn't call it that. Princess Athalfus means much more to me than any notion of duty. It was my heart that kept me from leaving her side. I see. In that case, you must truly possess a heart of gold, my lady. What? Me? Oh, no, no, no. Believe me, I'm nothing but a flawed, mostly useless mess. 
Balderdash. That's a fun word. Balderdash. The princess needs you, Emma. You know that better than anyone. And as of now, you're one of her most trusted allies. Sir Bonacel, Emma, we reclaimed your master key. Would you mind helping us use it to free- We've been doing that the whole time! Oh, by the way, have Tasha talk to Troy? I am aware of that. I don't remember the conversation exactly, but I do know it is pretty fucking funny. Alright. Here goes. The guy didn't move, and that is bad. Oh, fuck. Um... How do I proceed? Hmm. Alright. What is your defense? Zero. With Prody, it would be eight. How much... How does this look? Wait a minute, hold on. Defense, Joel. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold, hold, hold the phone. Um, alright. Brody. Yeah, you're gonna take that defense, Joel. Uh-huh. And then you're going to go right there. And then you're going to trade it over. And then you're going to use it. Wait, his defense is actually zero. No, it's eight. Okay. Alright, got it. Got it. Um, let's get them the hell out of the way. What is your move? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Alright. Let's see what happens. You think we're gonna lose to a withered, rotting prisoner like you? Yeah, actually. I think you will. Okay. I'm gonna need to kill them fast. Perfect, alright. Where is Mop? Got it. Attack with the Mop. Got it, alright. And then, um... Just keep Prody where he is. <laughs> hey, in my world, how you doing? Uh, you check out the Metroid Prime remaster? Not yet. Not quite yet. Soon though, it's definitely on the list. Damn it! No defense. Instead, he just got a really good level up. Got a spear. That's good. That's not as good. Alright. Let's finish him off. Wait! I'm sorry! Please don't really kill me! Brute's curious. Oh! We took his clothes off! Oh! -ho -ho. That is funny. Also, take that spear. You gonna use prime? Oh. Oh, I can feel the curious grinding against my ribs. Ha! It's cause he's, um... It's not quite his size. But that's still funny. 
Alright, attack. Yeah. That's almost... We're almost there with that. You lead, I follow. Hey, thank you very much for the follow, G-Borg. Well, let's just kill him. Uh-huh. And everyone else, moving on over. You lead, I follow. Holy shit, thank you much, so much, Hylian Fury. Oh no, oh, we might have taken a bit too long to get to Troy. Oh god, okay, no, 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 we're, we're fine, we're fine. Bonacel. Oh, fuck. Okay, no, no, we're good. I, don't know, I, I should save. Right, like that, I'm just gonna have to do that. Alright, Garland, attack and paralyze this fucker. Oh, it's only a 25% chance of paralysis. Oh, 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 I, I see. Right. Let's reapply paralysis. Yeah, now you can get fucked. Oh god, okay. You know what, that's fine. Because you are going to get your spear, like, right now. Island plus one. Okay. Thank you very much. Alright. Um, something tells me... Um, here, just take the spear. Yeah, something tells me that the second I open those doors... Things are gonna get real fucky. Alright. Okay. Yep, that's what I figured. All right. Um, attack with Bonacel. Got it. A point of agility that's probably actually really funny. Consume the cake. And then you dance. And then Bonacel and Prody can move right up there to defend. Or Prody, excuse me. And you can move right there. You can get the hell up out of there. Alright. We're... We're getting close. But it's not looking the greatest. Shit is intense. Alright, he missed an 86. Alright, this is not good, but... God, this map really is just one giant puzzle. But I can make do. Alright, here's how we gotta do this. Brody! Oh my god, you take... You take some hits. What is Shadow Axe's range? Just one. Alright, let's see if we can paralyze you. Alright, that didn't happen. Nice. I'm glad. Alright. Alright. So now I have to do this to just paralyze you. The power of the mop, baby. Uh huh. Trade from Garland. That's Phylum plus one. Got it, okay. And then morale boost. Okay. Now if you paralyze this guy, perfect. Now all we now we can just focus on killing this guy. Thank you, Jesus, Mary, and also Joseph. Alright. Now, I am not going to sacrifice the old man. Alright. Um, attack. 
with the phylum. Attack with the book. Um, and then I can just morale boost you two. And then... Just kill? Yeah, okay. Got it. All right, there we go. The gears in the head are turning. There's a whole lot of thinking going on around here. All right, attack. Ah, yes, Jesus Christ, my favorite JoJo character. Oh, and it paralyzed! For one turn, but one turn could be all I need. Um... I do not need to use the tofu cake, or the, uh, the tofu steak, excuse me. But I could always consume the bottle of Tasha's. Alright. We're almost there. And he has the Sane if... Alright. Got it, okay. How many uses does that book have left? Only six? I gotta be careful. Or, wait, these treasure chests probably have more books for, um, Garland. However, am I really gonna be the man that trusts a probably? No. Leveling up, I wouldn't be surprised if you weren't even coded to have growth rates. Alright, attack the single spear. Very good. Hack, he's dead. He's out of here. You don't even have a means of attack. Alright, let's get the old woman up there, as she is the one that needs to talk. Troy is getting really lucky with those. And I don't know if it's because he's coded to get really lucky with those... How much longer are you paralyzed? Two turns, that's enough. Thank you. Why does his damage fluctuate so much? Hmm. Like, is that just... Because it definitely feels like... He's, um... His damage is going up and down. All right, now here's the old woman. The old men can just stay there for now. Don't gotta worry about them, none. All right, let's take a save. Tasha, great. It's Tasha. And where is she? Ah. Her cake is just that powerful. Garland, can you hit something? Jesus, Mary, and also Joseph. All right. Attack. Just kill the shaman. Why the fuck were they fighting on complete darkness? What the hell happened there? Just don't miss. Thank you. And right, Tasha can move up. Her cake is just... I was talking about actual cake, not her ass cheek, Spara. God damn. Alright. So now... Okay. I'm gonna save. I probably shouldn't open this door yet, but I'm gonna do it anyway. What? Intruders? Hey, playtime's over, you moron. Kill every last one of those intruders now! Got it. Okay. Now, multi-chance. Alright. And then, like, move him right there, I guess. Alright. Might have done this a little bit too soon. Or then again, maybe not. Items, eat strawberry cake. Alright. 
Oh, she doesn't attack him. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. So that means that Troy just like all right, view object view dialogues. Alright, Tasha and Garland. Alright. So just move him to a space where Tasha and Garland can talk to him. Talk. Stop this, Leia. You don't need to obey these devils anymore. Grandmother, you're safe? The knights from the other cell saved me. You went through hell just to protect me, didn't you, my sweet little girl? I'm so sorry. No, Grandmother. It's my fault that we were both captured to begin with. I'm the one who's truly at fault here. You haven't done a single thing wrong, dear, other than make me keep talking, and now I need to take a sippy of my drink. Mm. I'm so proud of you, Leia. Please do your old grandmother a favor and be kind to yourself. Grandmother. Night Leia is now yours to command. All right, cool. All right. I see no reason to not just leave her there. All right. Garland, chat. I'm relieved to see you safe and sound, Troy. Likewise, Master Garland. I'm so glad we both managed to escape. Apparently, it's all thanks to a woman named Tasha. We'll have to hear the full story from her afterwards. <coughs> For now, we must escape at once. But we can't ignore the civilians who were taken hostage with us. It won't be easy to escape while also guarding them from harm. But we've been through worse. I trust I can rely on you for backup? Of course, Master Garland. I'm at your service. And I swear on my honor as a paladin that I shall not fail you. Alright. Let's hear it. I've heard really good things about this conversation. So let's see what it's all about. Holy hunky horse riders! It's you, my golden-maned lion! You're finally here to ravage me! Here to... What? I mean, rescue me! Oh dear, what did I just say? Um... I'm Tasha from Foley, remember me? The one who served you the water cake. Holy Tasha... I never forgot about you a single day, Sir Handsome. Not for all the one year, two months, and twenty-three days we've been apart. I deeply apologize, my lady, but I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. You even came back to see me in folly, but I was such a mess that it ended up burning out some old nonsense about you being too old. I am so, so sorry. I take it all back. Really, I do. You professed your love to me, and I stomped you into the ground like some unhinged lunatic. In order to apologize for all my many foolish transgressions, my love, I've prepared the perfect feast, just for you. Fralian herring, a massive healthy steak, and a special wine said to have many medicinal benefits. Th thank you. Looks positively delicious. Do you mind if I share some of it with my allies? Ah. Alright. Alright, okay. Not gonna look forward to dealing with that. Okay. Let's get some chests open. Proteus Curasis. Oh, okay. So wait, what do I want? Armored Brute or his, um... Base, I probably want him in his base thing. The cur assist was probably just a temporary fix. Okay. We will leave Miss Iron Duke there for now. Oh, that's right. They're Cavaliers. They can move. Alright, well... feel like we want to kill this guy. I mean, he actually takes a bit more damage than I thought he would. All he has is that short spear. Um, and the pike... I mean... Oh, doing extra harm to cavalry is based. Hold on. You definitely need that. Trade. Let's get Prody back as he should be. Yeah. 
Yeah, now this is more like it. A perfect fit. Did his stats go down? I feel like they went down. You know what? It doesn't matter. Okay. Grandma, get you out of there. Um, Troy. Let's see. Yeah, let's do a little bit of a morale boost. And then, um... Actually, wait, what, what am I trying to do here? Brute actually was better than Grand Guard? Oh, okay. Well, you know what? We'll worry about that when we get to that. I'm glad to see your grandmother's all right. Yes, thank you so much. Pardon me, but may I ask for your name? As of now, we're comrades who have fought together, and I would hate to forget you. My name is Leia Lang. I once served as a knight of the Royal Guard. I've heard many tales of the winds of Troy. It's a dream come true to be able to fight by your side, sir. On the contrary, Lady Leia, I believe the pleasure is all mine. You honor me, sir. God damn. Troy is literally drowning in bitches, and he doesn't even know it. Good man, Sir Troy. Good man. Let's read the objectives. Or dialogue. Not, not load. Alright. I have exhausted the dialogues. Which means that as soon as this fighting is done, I can go home. Like, I can go to the left and actually finish the map. Fool. You'll never be able to touch me. If you think I'm a... Is his name Huge Idiot? Wait a minute. This guy's a pun! Alright. So, to be blunt, things aren't looking the greatest. I never gave him the healing staff. Who has the healing staff? It's still Brody. Alright. So here's how this is going to go. You got yourself a really nice fried herring from your future wife. And that's going to be wonderful. Your future wife is then also going to take... Now hang on, hang on, hang on. We're, we're getting there, we're getting there. Alright. Well, you're going to get... Was it... Who, who had the pike? Someone had the pot, like, the, a better weapon for him. It was the guy that I just moved away, right. Or, no, wait, it's infantry only, isn't it? You know what, I'm sure he'll be fine with all the stats up, and his, um... And his lover there giving him plus three strength. Now, Prody, you moved to right there. Trade, nab that healing staff, and now... We don't have to rely on pieces of cake to cure our mortal stab wounds. Honestly, Troy, I thought you were a bit smarter than this. You honestly think you could be- He just ate a fish. You don't even know what a man who eats a fish is capable of. Absolute buffoon. Alright, and now the old men. Absolute fool. Absolute buffoon. You can't fuck with Troy, babe. Oh. So I can use his armor. On who? Oh, Bonacel? That... I mean, for now, why not? What does this do for me? Oh, now this is heavy. So what is that? A gargantuan boost to defense at the cost of a huge drop in accuracy? 
Oh, no, he just can't use lances anymore. He has to use spears. Oh, but with proficiency of 30, he can literally use any sword in the game. And his health jacked up absurdly high. Is this better than what he'll get? I mean, I'll have to find his armor before I ask that question. But I'm not entirely sure... Hmm. Wind spear? What the? Okay, sure. I guess. Let's, um... Let's give him that saber for now. And he might be, like, I might be giving him more weapon later. Something doesn't feel right here. Oh, okay. So, great. I've put the old men in danger. Thank God they didn't get closer. But okay. Okay. We have been taking too long. The game has told us, hey, dumbass, hurry the fuck up. And that's fair. Hmm. I mean, I guess the problem's gonna come down to, uh... I don't know. I'll have to see the difference in stats. But it is interesting that there are these alternate, um, like, there are branching promotions this late into the game. I, I think that's kind of neat. Uh, let's see, what do you, what do you got? Serenity Axe, right? Oh, wait, hold on. Knights and Heavy Knights. That's gonna be a little awkward. But alright. This chapter is like... I do like the whole... kind. Of, it is kind of like a puzzle. Someone said that they felt this map was like a puzzle. I definitely do see it. And I can kind of dig it. But I can also acknowledge that, yeah, this map is kind of going on for way too goddamn long. Like... It's, it's a map that I am glad that I have played once, but if and when I go back to Vestaria Saga 2, I think I will be happy to not play it again, if that was somehow possible. So, you have Twin Gore. Wait, hold on, I should probably save before the big combat encounter happens. Alright. Twin Gore, give it to him. And then... Uh, you don't do as much damage as I was hoping. What? An intruder? Halt! You're not getting away! Suck on my cock and also my balls. Alright, um... Bonacell, you'll do it! What just happened? General's Curious. I assume this is for Bonacell. Alright, so there I can have the choice of how I wish to proceed. Hmm. That is the question, isn't it? This is going to activate something nut. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. 
Next turn, I will see what potential stack growths Bonacell has going for him. What are you... Hang on. What are you waiting for? Didn't I just send the order for you imbeciles to start executing the prisoners? Got it. Alright. Oh, God. Now we gotta deal with this. Wait, no, hold on. Dealing with this isn't a problem because I have, like, actual units now. Wait a minute. I just realized I don't give a shit. All right. Who has the wind spear? You do. Who can even use the wind spear? She can. All right. Uh, Leia. Here you go. Have the wind spear. And I think I would rather give the healing. Alright. Someone has the anti-cavalry weapon. It's you. Who the fuck? Pike. Got it. Okay. Now, here's the question. And actually, I'm pretty sure I already know the answer. Alright, here we go. Hold on. Back. Yeah, you just use the wind spear now? Yep. Excellent. Thank God the unit that's only allowed to be used for one map can do that shit. Alright. Now this might be way too aggressive, but hear me out, I don't give a shit. We equip the anti-cavalry weapon... Who had his fish? Shit. Wait. This is how we do it. You take the fish. You give the fish. In exchange for, I don't know, the elixir and the tofu steak. Yeah, and then you're gonna run on up. You're gonna eat that fish. And you are now going to become as gods and become pretty much invincible to anything. I think. I never actually looked at your stats. I have no idea if you can survive the absolute hell I just put you through. Oh, yes. Did I let him cook too much and now the enemies are ignoring him? I think I might have let him cook too much. That's fine. That is completely A-OK -okay fine. God, Troy is back. And he's everything he used to be. If not more, are you all seeing this shit? The incredible power of Troy. God bless, I missed him. I also miss Merida. Merida and her like 30 million bagillion attacks, I also miss. But Troy is just the same. Okay, so, like, they're just not attacking me. Which is a bit problematic. But not, like, too much so. And you go up here with the Wind Spear? Yes. You have a pole axe, but I have multi-chance, so I don't care. The you just nah, Yeah, the Short Spear. Alright. I might be putting... A bit too much. Like, I might be going a little too hard with putting Troy up there. But I genuinely believe he's invincible. <clears throat> so, and I do not think I will change my opinion until I am proven otherwise. Mm-hmm. 
do do do. All right. Moving you up. All right. We're almost there. All right. So I can tell that this is about to get really, really annoying. Because the skeletons just aren't attacking him. I mean, I guess that doesn't matter, because, like, event like he'll just start killing them now. Alright. And now, Garland. Yeah, no, he's going to die if I put him there. It's okay, I just gotta get everyone else up there. Except maybe not quite Garland. Well, actually, I'm sure even Garland will be fine. Alright. Can I get them all to safety? Yes. All the old people are, as of this moment, going to be safe behind the wall of Bonacel. Except Tasha, but she can just get behind him next turn. All right. Like, yeah, as I say, the problem is they're just not attacking Troy. Except these guys, who are now dying as soon as they start attacking Troy. Which is probably why... They, um... Okay. Okay. Spear. Oh, God. Oh. Alright, I need to use the wind spear here, don't I? Oh, yeah, and that instantly solves the problem. Got him. Alright. Um. Now you can. Yeah. At this point, we're pretty much all set. Beautiful. Okay. We made it, folks. After many, many Phoenix Wright trials and tribulations. We have made it to the end. Oh, fuck! He had a magical axe! Alright, well, it doesn't matter because he's dead now. Wow, they really gave her proficiency, didn't they? Alright, so you know what? You guys gotta stop having flame axes. Alright, let's save up. Alright, because if we can just kill this fucking necromancer. And by we, I do mean specifically Troy. We'll be fine. This is a good start. I have a go. Next up, you need to be responsible. Please don't have a... Alright, he has a pole axe, which is arguably more scary. Alright, and then you're gonna go up. Yes. Still haven't had enough punishment. Yeah, eat shit and die. Alright. How well do you do here? Not that bad, actually. Um... What is your move? Your move is eight, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So, yeah. No, wait. That's actually fine. Now, what I'm about to do is going to look fucking crazy. And in some ways, it is... But I do believe it will work out in the long run. Yes. Just kill him. And now you... Can just kill you. Got it! Alright. Life is good, baby. Alright. Yep. Wind spear, more like wind spear. That a boy. All right. So now, 
Where can you get to? Alright. With this power invested in me, let us get the old people to safety. Uh, what do you have equipped? A poleaxe. And a... That, sa that saber's gonna get destroyed and it's gonna be sad, but it served its purpose. Alright, let's, um... Alright, the Ring of Keys doesn't really matter, and I don't have another maid. So, but let's do take that Ward Ring. Um, you... Give the Wind Spear and the Iron Duke to you. And then, fare thee well. She got it. Alright. Emma! You can get ready to leave. Alright. Now, as for the next batch... You made it! Woo! You made it! Woo! You made it! Woo! How many more times can I say woo? Alright, um... Garland is almost ready to go. Alright. What the fuck is your stats? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright, yeah, we'll just move you right there. You're right there. Morale boost. The problem is Tasha herself will not be ready. And we're going to hit end. Alright, yep, we're good to go. Um, I do not know if you stick around after this map. Regardless though, Prody! Get out of here. Old lady! Get out of here. Troy! The everlasting MVP. Get out of here. Garland. Get out of here. Now here now here's the big question. What is better? Alright, let's look here. 18, 18. Okay, you know what? Let's just. Uh-huh. And then general. You get spears back. And swords. You could already use swords. Your defense seems to go down, I think? Or, no. Your health goes down. Your defense does go down. Hmm. Alright. Alright. Here is my, uh, here's my grand opinion. His defense did go down by one. He's going to be kept as a Gygus, because that sounds cooler. Bonaso, have all the other hostages escaped? Yes, Master Garland. We've safely evacuated every last prisoner in the dungeon. Unfortunately, all that fighting did a number on our weapons. I doubt we'll be able to weather another assault. This passage should lead up to the palace basement. We must find a way to escape and contact Lord Zadrian. Master Garland, I see light up ahead. That's another voice anywhere. It's Lord Zadrian. All right. Aw, oh, really? You're gonna cock tease us with bars? Well, whatever. Alright, let's see what the fuck's about to happen next. Oh, that's a lot. That. That's a lot. Let's see, let's see, let's fuck. Lord Zadrian, I am pleased to inform you that we have eradicated most of the enemy forces who previously occupied the capital city. The Knights of Cordia are currently working to bolster its defenses as we speak. 
It was a hard battle, to be sure. But we succeeded in the end, thanks to everyone's combined efforts. I will advance my troops so that we may begin securing the palace. Please tell Lord Foros and the rest of the army that they are the focus on defending the walls. Alright, let's go. She's being held prisoner within her own palace. And I need to rescue her from this nightmare as soon as humanly possible. Alright. You believe the Mar Yeah, the Margulites are always fucking around. Alright. Let's go. Commander, I bring you grave tidings. According to our latest scout report, a massive enemy horde is approaching us from both sides. All troops are now on standby for further orders. Both sides? Both sides of what? Come now, man. Can't you be any more precise than that? Of course. Sincere apologies, my lord. A battalion of savages has disembarked from the Thrall and are approaching us from the south. Meanwhile, an army of Margulite demons are approaching us from the north. They seem to have come from the ruins of Janeth. And marching alongside them is a massive dragon we believe to be Adam's Fair. Why would you not mention, uh, me mention the dragon first? That sounds like a bigger problem. Judging from that, next few hours. Alright. Atmosphere surely set its sights on the cat. Okay, so we need to kill this. We need to finish this before um the dragon gets here. Why the f- Alright. Who the fuck- Oh no, I vaguely remember you. Unless Princess Amelia reawakens Nina, Lana Sanctum will surely fall to the Nether Drakes. My sister also announced that Amelia is to be immediately assainted as a circlet maiden. You needn't worry, however. Once everything is in order, we will both be sent right back to assist you. Alright. So, a lot of shit's about to go down. The Flame Maiden, the Queen of Fire was the Flame Maiden. She was, on her 18th birthday, Civil Circuit on Magic Return to Sanctum on its own accord. Until then... Civil had seemingly been using the flame shard to revive demons. Alright, so once this young girl becomes a maiden, some of the demons will stop. Alright. Got it. If successful, it will prevent the demons from resurrecting. Alright, that's good. And then we gotta deal with the dragon. How does one defeat them? The Sacred Blade. All right, we're tear ring saga. We're tear ring saga it up. Actually, the dragon in there wasn't like weak to the swords. They just did a lot of damage. Because Kaga went, what if we slapped Luna on a sword? It was all defense instead of half defense, and it procked every single time. All right, so we need to use the Volks. Sylphie, that is literally the name of this tome from Tear Ring Saga. You really like that name. All right, sure. St. King's Palace is Sylvanas. Whoa, the Sacred Sword of Sylvanister. Okay. All right. I also wear the seal Sylvanister bears, which friends have been wielded by anyone aside from my brother. Months ago, I just... That's right, I remember that sword. That was all the way on Chapter 2. Any true heir to the Melian Thrones capable of transferring ownership of Sylvana to another potential wielder. We weren't able to prevent the Nether Drake from a throne, but a thought. So, okay. You must. Okay. So if I am understanding this correctly, Zaid cannot use the sword until he gets a smooch from Princess Aethal, and Aethal cannot smooch him until she is stopped from being turned to stone. So our current order of. And she cannot be saved from stone. Until Amelia gets here. So our current order of events. Survive long enough to not. For Amelia to show up. Save Princess Aethal. Get smooched. Wield sword. Kill dragon. Do I understand that process of events correctly? Sacred blades have always. Tra oh the sacred blades can just travel. Uh, you know what sure. Why not. Got it. The circlet maids are truly that powerful? Listen! Haven't you read the Bible? Women who don't have sex are gods. Maidens are just built different, and we gotta live with that. Something about having sex steals all the magical power. I don't know. 
In the meantime, I would do my best to try to neutralize the magic from within the front of the palace. The ceiling barrier usually calls for circlet maidens. Alright. The four of us are to fall. I'm not going to... Got it. So we need to protect the four of them while they make the barrier. Okay. Zade. We've secured... I gotta pee. I'm sorry. I gotta fucking pee. Zaid even started to return Athol's feelings, or is he still married to his job? From what I understand, Zaid does return Athol's feelings, but that was his brother's fiance, and now his brother's dead, and everything's just complicated. If I am to understand the game as it's presented. Zaid, we've secured the banquet hall and the surrounding rooms. I've already sent another group out to inspect the courtyard area. Where do you think we should go next? Upstairs or down? We can only split up as well if you're in a hurry. Of course I'm in a hurry, Cesar. It'll take time with I'll take a few nights with you downstairs. In the meantime, I'd like you to send as many as you can upstairs. I want you to stay with me. There's no telling how many traps Gravendale set for us within the palace. I need you to lend me your wisdom. You got it, Z. And now that everyone's back from Frist, we'll have no shortage of helpers. Yeah, he and Athol know they love one another, but Zek got bodied and has been replaced by a sussy imposter. Kaga accepted his fantastic gay ship's challenge. Okay, look. Theodel and Zade deserve each other, but Athol's cute too, alright? Zade has two hands. Oh, right, Silton. Where the fuck has Silton been this whole time? That's Zade's actual boyfriend. Oh, right, he's off ruling his fucking country and stopping that civil war. God, I miss that guy. That reminds me. I don't see a quarter slain anywhere. Why aren't either of them back yet? Oh, about that. She... Oh, God, the background music. She gave me a message to pass on to you. She said she wasn't feeling well, so she decided to convalesce a bit. What the fuck does that word in? Convalesce? Eh. She believes it's nothing more than exhaustion, and wanted to make sure you didn't worry about her. I see. You know, I know very well how much I ended up overworking her. When this war ends, I'll make it my first priority to visit Frist and check up on her. Either way, there's something I need to tell her. As for Slain, eh, who knows what goes on in that moron's head. Maybe he got bored and decided to head home to Sherwood. I do remember hearing him whine about how he was tired of fighting all the time. Honestly said something like that? I wish he would have stayed with us until the end, but he's free to make his own decisions. At the very least, I hope he finds happiness once he returns to his homeland. Indeed. C Cesar, a court gave you a letter to deliver to Lord Zadrian. Why would you lie to him like that? Because she specifically told me not to deliver it to Zaid until the war ended. She did? But why? A court knows how Zaid thinks better than anyone else. 
She knows that if he found out the truth now, it would affect him. Badly. And I'm not even- and not even I am black-hearted enough to say no to a woman who's purring her heart out and apologizing for, quote, causing us so much trouble. That all your- that answer all your questions, nosy? Then the story about Slain was also a lie? Of course! How could I tell Zay that Slain ran off after a court because he was worried about her? Slain ran off after a court? Right when we were on the verge of stopping Grevendel once and for all? I know. Hilarious, isn't it? Oh, uh, the bit about him whining wasn't a lie, though. He wants to save the princess as badly as everyone else, but he's smart enough to know that he's pretty much used- No, are you fucking- Penelope's longbow has saved me from so many fucking encounters! He is not useless! He is one of my best units! And he's gone! A particularly troublesome illness that compels him to rush to the aid of every last woman who appears to be in trouble. Basically, he's still got the mind of a kid who's obsessed with playing the hero. Thinks he can actually save the world one person at a time. He certainly sounds like a kind, sensitive soul. Something one can't often say about men his age. I personally would have gone with brainless deadbeat, but to each their own. I'll forgive him this time, though. A court is a beast when it comes to magic, but she also wears her heart on her sleeve. Besides, disasters are bound to happen if we let a goody two-shoes like her travel around the miserable world by herself. In other words, you'd purposefully told Slain about what happened so he'd go after her. Ah, yes, it all makes sense now. You and Slain are like two birds of a feather, so you were able to predict exactly how he would react. Alright, old-timer, I think that's enough yapping out of you for one day. Zade's liable to leave us behind if we stay here any longer. No, it's Cesar... Is Cesar embarrassed because someone realized he's not an asshole? No. Alright, look, I understand the plot's happening and it's really sweet, but I saw the outline of that map and I am scared. Like, come on. <laughs> Just hit me with it. The corridor itself is quite dim, and there's no telling what traps might have set within. Please... Be aware of an ambush. Understood. I'm already playing a set- Okay, separate units. Alright, eventually we'll reunite and then move as one. On this map, you can place units in three separate areas. Alright, so there's up there. There's the courtyard. And then there's the right. I... Oh... Oh, that's a lot. Units you choose for this map and their item... Okay. Why the fuck is Jonathan a mandatory play- Okay. Nope. We're fine. Alright. Jesus, okay. Sheila, from Jonathan, take the flame bow, and then take another flame bow. Alright. God, I gotta worry so much about item. You're fine. You're also, I think, stockpile, a straw. What the fuck is the seal of frist? Alright. A uh, trait, uh, hmm. Uh, where the fuck is Drake? Exactly enough deployment slots for every unit to be fielded on tw Jesus. Alright. So, like... Do I not want to... What the, the hell are these? A dagger? Alright. Alright, deposit all of your shit. Where is Drake? Drake, 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 Drake. Where the fuck is he? Did I just, like, go... I, I went past him. I, I went past him. Oh, uh, stockpile. Oh, he only uses swords. Doesn't actually use daggers, does he? Or, or does he use daggers? 
God, that's right. Daggers are technically... Remove. Um... A deposit. Throwing knife. Anyway, okay, hold on. There's so much. Jonathan's store... It's for, for Bay Monk. Sure. Alright, um... What does Senna store have? Alright. Oh, okay. There is so much I gotta worry about. Alright. Remove... An Ultium Axe. Alden. Uh, Jonathan Store. Let's buy you a Knight's Brand. Uh, there's just so much I have to worry about. Alright. Stockpile. Trade items. Claude. You have Zappy Book. Give Zappy Book to... Who wants Zappy Book? Who the fuck wants the Zappy book? Barzilfen and Oron want to go to chapter 25. Alright, got it. Um, Zappy book. Main staff of resistance. Okay. So let's, let, let's just select units first. Alright, I don't want all of my overpowered goons at once here. I think I can take out the flyers for now. And instead put in... I mean, I guess Bay Monk. Sure. And the Armor Bros? Sure. Do I want Bert now or later? Hmm. Odd. Alright, now let me think about that. I, I probably want Carrie Ann here. Right? Probably want Carrie Ann here. I think that's the question. Is this the map for, um, where I want all my cavalry or all my infantry? Judging by all the dragons, I definitely want the Dragon Slayer. What the hell are all of you? Alright, um... Yeah, yeah, it doesn't help me. Like... Holding in a Shram here? Yeah, I kinda- I kinda gathered. Um, Ashram, uh, Drake, alright. Mmm. Oh, take out Bay Monk for Carrie Ann. Cav Bros are probably better in 25. Alright, Hesty and Alexander, you take a break here. Let's add in Irene and Abram. There we go. Okay, now let's manage. Let's manage the items. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, there's so much here. Okay, trade items. Zaid, you'll be fine. Drake, where is Ashram? You take the Seal of Frist. Um, and then also, let's go to Jonathan's store, and you know just. To be on the safe side, let's pick up a Knight's Brand. It's the end of the game. What do we need money for? Definitely want at least one of the combat gods. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, Remove. Take that, that. Oh, uh, that's funny. Okay. Um, Senna store just, just to sell. Oh, I could sell from the stockpile. I forgot. Um, 
Jesus, okay. Trade items. Fav. Fav could use more items. Let's give him the big Healy drink. Um, a battle axe. Tomahawk. And then, um... Stockpile for Amloot. Deposit the burn book. And you don't need that many hunting bows. You need be just need better bows. Wait, that's right. Hold on. I forgot. All those arbalests he can't wield. He cannot use that. Shit. Fine. Um, archbow. Then I guess one of the hunting bows. Sure. Um. Fuck. All right. Remove. Let's get you a long spear. Um, you. Let's get you an axe of your own. There's a shitload of adept weapons in the west shops. I'm barely able to, like, keep my inventory in check right here. You think I'm gonna be able to pull shit off with even more crap? Ugh. Alright, um... Oh, wait, trade, hold on. That ultimate spear is not gonna do shit for dick in the hands of someone who's not even on this map. Um... Alright. Hmm. Alright. Well, then the problem is... Ugh. Carrion... Problem is, at that point, I would only have, like, one healer. And that's Carrie Ann. The problem is, I don't know who's fighting who. And, like, who I need to go where. Alright, you know what? I'll figure this out. Alright. Let's have the armors go over here? Yeah, let's have the armors go over here. The dragon slayers can go over here. Irene can stick with them. And sure, one... And then Amluch is going to want to be with um the woman that can, you know, have a support boom, boom, boom with him. Alright, there we go. And then up here with... God, this map is huge. Up here with you. Fuck, is, I don't think Bert should be over here. I feel like, let's put Drake. Yeah, let's put Drake over there and Bert down here. I think. Alright. Oh god, that's so much, so much shit. Alright. Let's just save up, manage units, stockpile. Let's make sure that everyone, I mean, that can probably help. I guess some door keys can't hurt. And some Octavo herbs, um, Bert, um, deposit that, um, remove some nice drink. Good God. All right. And then lastly, you should also have some healing drink. And then, Bert, you're also about to fight some poison dragons. So grab some antidote. And then extra move? Who would I want with extra move? Carrion. Something just tells me... He's probably going to be really good with some extra movement. And then also... Let's get... Let's let's give him a healing staff that is not, like, range only. And then let's also just give him a better long-range healing staff. Oh, fuck. And the... And God, this is too much shit I want to give him. Alright, this probably is not ideal. But let's just rock and roll with this. And then we can see what happens. 
Holy hell, there's so much to manage. And there's the goon squad! Bonacell, have all the other hostages escaped? Yes, Master Garland. We've safely evacuated every last prisoner in the dungeon. Aw, did Bonacell forcefully become a general? So that whole long spiel about whether or not I should keep him as a Gygus is completely irrelevant. That's kind of funny. <gasps> Lord Zadrian! That voice, it's... Lord Zadrian. Zadrian. Master Garland. Emissa. Gods, even Troy's with you! You're all safe and sound. You can hardly believe my eyes. It's a great relief to see you're safe and sound as well, my lord. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Never thought I'd have the honor of fighting by your side ever again, my lord. Those devils nearly broke my spirit more times than I like to count, but I'm glad I managed to hold on in the end. We have much to speak of, young lord. Indeed. But first things first, let's get this door open. Of course it wouldn't be that easy. Alright, locate the switch. We'll do our best, my lord. But honestly, our equipment is taking a beating. I don't think we'll be able to hold on... You guys are fine. I think. Toxic duct. What the fuck? Alright. Um, well, there is also a lever right the fuck there. So, um... I'll go see what that's about. Their weapons are almost borked, he says. The, the weapons are almost borked. Well, okay, maybe Bonacell's looking a little rough. Okay, no, Prody is. Well, that's because you're hoarding all the spears. Oh, they need... Oh, that's why Jonathan's here. Oh, I get it. Well, hang on. Let me just see. What is your movement... Perfect. Get ambushed, bitch! See, this is what Merlinus would be like if he was useful. Uh, okay. So now I have to worry about all of this shit. Saber. Oh god, what is your attack? 18. I just realized I don't give a fuck unless you guys have Cerberus to bypass defense. Or actually, wait, any dagger, actually. Alright, we're fine, though. Um. Mm hmm. Alright, let's. Mm hmm. All right, we'll be fine. Let's move Claude down to right there. That's that's Lucian. Uh, yeah, no, the light phylum is fine. Let's get Abraham over. God, there is like noticeable lag to turn on the aggro range because the game like has to take a moment. To figure out where everything is. That's funny. I mean, Nocturne is fine to use as long as I don't, like, use all of it. And something tells me it's gonna be. And it's going to probably be in my best interest to use it now while I still have it, rather than just hold on to it for the whole time, and then never get anything done. Alright, so the undead will keep coming back, and that's going to be annoying, but not like unmanageable. 
All right, Bert, baby. Make sure you have your long-range magic equipped. And then bring on the carnage. Will you be able to... Oh, yeah, you'll be fine with this. And then attack. I don't need to do that, but... You know what? I just gave you a bunch of cool daggers. I forgot she had a day's 100% dagger. Huh. God damn, this game just has so much going for it. Or that unit, excuse me. I should have attacked with the day's dagger. It's okay. Someone over here has the bellflower leaf. Days 100. Okay, look. Here's the thing. Literally immortal is good. You can do both. Grevendale. Adam's fears returned to us, in case you hadn't noticed. Meaning we no longer have any use for the Star Maiden. Don't you think it's about time you quit this pathetic little palace and headed back to Ravel, where you belong? You needn't concern yourself with the princess anymore. I'll dispose of her myself in due time. You must truly think me a fool if you expect me to fall for that one, Valerius. I already know you've taken hold of the Moon Maiden. And... <coughs> and now, you plan to do the same with the Star Maiden, don't you? Oh, make no mistake. I know exactly what you're after. After the humans submit to us, you aim to take control of the Nether Drakes and steal the Emperor's throne for yourself. <laughs> Foolish little human. Our Dark Lord sees all. Even so, Lord Raddick insists that we are not to harm you. So just scurry back to Spire while you still can, boy. Go and entertain yourself with your puppet queen until we have further need of you. Without the Flame Shard, she is of little use to us. But it would do well for her to go on serving as the Queen of Spire for the nonce. In fact, our Dark Lord demands it. Puppet! Ha! Oh, how the pot does love to call the kettle black. You know, Grevendel, if all this Shadow King business ends up fizzling out, you really should consider a new career as a court jester. And the same goes for your oh-so-eminent Dark Lord Raddock. How he got the people of Lestia to elect him Chancellor, I'll never know. When I first met that clown, he was nothing more than a petty lord out in the sticks. Tenebrel, I believe they called him? He kept going on and on about he was the survivor of Margul's Dark Empire, and had the means to restore the Emperor's power. That was when he asked me to join hands with his Margulites in toppling the Solvian Empire. He claimed he had already sired over 100 children with his slaves, and was in the process of turning all the babies into demon knights. Yes, he boasted of a powerful demonic army unlike anything the world had ever seen before. Honestly, it shocked me, and even scared me a bit. But I wasn't exactly happy with the way things were going with the Empire either. In the end, I decided to join hands with him only under the condition that I would be free to do with Salvia as I like after its empire falls. Therefore, Grevendel, I would like to respectfully remind you that you have absolutely no right to tell me what I should or shouldn't do. The same goes for Sybil. Regardless of what you may think about her true nature, her hatred for all of humanity is as fierce as it comes. And yet, you call her a puppet. You, a shriveled-up ghoul who can't even walk three paces without a shove from your beloved Dark Lord. I know full well that Sybil's anger was born from her brother's madness. He may have stolen her body from her, but make no mistake, she retrains her soul as a circlet maiden of Nier, even now. However submerged it may be, her mind is still intact, and perhaps she was more relieved than any other to find when she finally lost her shard. Wouldn't you agree, my esteemed colleague? <clears throat> In the end, he's just another feeble human with a heart as frail as the rest of them. Sorry, Valerius, but I won't be handing this palace or the Star Maiden over to you or anyone. They're mine. All mine! Well, here it goes. There sure do be a lot of shit going down. 
God, Ambush is so funny. Case in point. Oh! I didn't realize that there were going to be reinforcements down there. That's not good at all. Except it's Troy, so I don't really care. What? What does that do for me? Oh shit, I didn't save. Surely that won't be a problem. Okay, so... Uh, move you down to, the, to there. Move you down to there. You down to there. Morale boost. Let's just continue from right where we left off. He does need a new lance, though. I'm in bed and watching this with fantastic popcorn. Thank you for suffering. I'm glad that I can do that for you. <coughs> hmm. Iron door. Hmm. Well, let's just... Let's just get rid of you. Yeah, something tells me that that Dragon Slayer is going to be pretty fucking important to hang on to. And then Taskmaster for Drake. We'll now open that door. And God knows what he'll find on the other side. Alright. So it looks like those dragons don't actually move to attack you just because they can. Neat. Oh, but I can take the fight to them. Not recommended, I see. Oh god, there's a fucking warp floor. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Okay. Oh god, that... Okay, cool. Got it, now I know that that does that. It's exactly what I wanted. Alright, let's, um... Now let's just attack with Spitfire. Trade. The Bellflower Leaf. I've given that to Sane. Item. Oh, no. Uh, someone has to... You know what? At that point, I'm just gonna hold on to it. Okay. The silencing won't matter. Because, let's see, it's the range of that... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we move you right there, and it doesn't matter if you silenced anyone else. As long as she has her prayer knife. Yeah, okay. Now we gotta deal with all this. Actually, before anything else, is that that deadly edge looks very innocent. What in the fuck? I don't have Lilia with me, which is sad. But I do have Phoebe, so I can go talk to that. And then I can um, take care of their talk conversation... Probably at a later time. Got it. All 
Alright, cool. Glad to know that that happened. Attack with the this. Or, what's my best accuracy? The hunting bow. Something tells me this won't work. It worked. Cool. Actually pleasantly surprised. Alright, now you. This should work. Go get him, Abram. There we go. God bless. Alright, now as for you... Something tells me I, I just, just get the fuck rid of you. <laughs> Alright. I know I said get fucking rid of him. I did not expect to get rid of him that well. My resolution. Damn. Forgot how well these dudes leveled. Alright. Gaga -ga -go <laughs> Gaga Goo Goo. Don't mind me. Just a wee innocent baby here. You're not gonna hurt Whittle old me, are ya? Get axe defended. Go! How did you see through my disguise? Just who are you? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Years, decades, centuries of sacrifice, finally coming to fruition. You really think we're going to let you worms ruin it all? I mean, it'd have been nice of you. And this is all okay. Got it. Okay. God, this game is so fucking good. There we go. Alright, I can't help but shake the feeling that pulling one of these levers is not going to go how I want it to. Alright. I need to fail a few more Iron Mans. Fair. What is that? Okay, which can then get... Alright. So, let me just deal with Mr. Poison Hurl Batman fuckface. Yeah. You, you, you're poison, which is a little unfortunate, but not too bad. Um, tavern. Give him more movement. Perfect. Why not? All right, and then talk. Ugh, why do I have to be dark mages again? I'm sick of dealing with these damn cultists. Be careful out there, Claude. If they get one hit on you, it's all over. I know, I know. This heavy armor we're wearing does nothing to protect us from their spells. There's no way for us to fight them head on. Yeah. Anyway, I suppose now is a good time as any to tell you why I became a knight. The idea came to me after I got my heart broken. I ran away from home and decided this would be the best way to strengthen myself. I want to be somebody, Claude. I want to go home as a proud knight in shining armor and show my ex just what she's missing. I want to make her regret the fact that she ever dumped me and rode off with some dashing knight on his pristine, muscular steed. And you can bet I'm not going to let any rotten necromancer fry me up before I can make that happen. I see. No wonder you were so hesitant to talk about it. I'm surprised you even told me. But I believe it doesn't matter what your reason is, Lucian, as long as you fight for a just cause. We fight for a higher purpose. Even so, I have no plans to die for that cause. We need to make it through this, Lucian. 
We need to survive to the end. Wait, what did you mean by that first part? Ah, never mind. All we gotta do is focus on surviving and etching our names in this history. Just watch me. I'm gonna become a legendary hero. I'm gonna make her so jealous. She'll be on her knees begging me to take her back. Luck and re- His audio? Something wrong with my audio? Am I coming through wrong? Hello? I'm still here. It was me. Alright, well. Alright. So there are weapons and shit I can buy up there. Hmm. Alright, now. The problem is, how do I deal? Alright. I think I can... F I think... I think I know what I want to do here. Alright, now here's the first thing. Does standing on the warp tile... With a flyer... Yes. Alright. Am I actually just designed to do that? Hmm. But like, with the exception of some small group. Hmm. Alright. Items. Um. You know, I think if I send my, my slayers in there... They'll be all right. Carrie Ann has a far healing staff. He'll be able to handle this. I do have to wonder, though. No, it won't work. At least not like I want it to. Item with the prayer knife. All right. There we go. We'll see how that ends up. And carry Ann. Sure, I guess. Okay. We'll see how that mess shapes out. Level 30. I mean, I guess technically speaking... Uh, Prody is the one I'd want fighting these things. Like, on a sheer technicality. Morale boost. Spear. Alright. And then you go up here and give Bonacell a pike? Sure. Alright, let's see how badly I fucked up. Oh dear. Wow, he didn't activate enough abilities to kill them. Oh, get fucked! There we go. God, Carrion really is just built different. Okay. Standing in the Throne of Skulls makes you die. I mean, sure. Sounds about right to me. Just activate one of your, like, million bajillion skills. Alright. In that case, I have to actually attack with the prayer knife. But I think that that's fine. Just as long as it doesn't break. And then there's you. Alright. Um... 
I think just everyone has to go in there. Like, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm noticing. Alright. Let's move you back, though. And then far healing staff for Halden. Oh, there's a, there's a switch right there. That's probably important. Alright, there is only one mage up there. And it's that guy, but he, he does have a fucking that thing. Hmm. Alright. Mm-hmm. Moving you up to here. Arming yourself with, um... Just the long spear. Yeah, then you behind him. Uh, shit's gonna get real hurdy-flirty, let me tell you. Jack up her strength for the rest of this match. That sounds really good. Ooh. Can't spend too much money on the account that I have burnt. So, gonna have to hold off on that. Alright. And then after that... Uh-huh. Move you over there. Taskmaster. I'm just... I just get the sinking feeling that these levers... We're gonna do something bad. What what did that open? Oh, that door. Alright, got it. Let's um let's get warped in. I'm pretty sure she'll be fine. I might have just made a mistake. Or not, I don't know for sure. Alright. And all those guys. Okay. Let's see what's gonna happen. There we go. Oh god. Alright. Noted. The Masudian brand. Gonna have to remember that. Alright. Um, load. I'm gonna go back to here. Which is fine. Alright, gonna go over there. You're gonna get task mastered. You're gonna pull that lever. You're gonna open up that thing to the right. Who has that Masudian brand? You do. Alright, which means Ashram is going to have to be the one to run up with his personal weapon and just, like, get a crit or that. There we go. Very, very fine. Now, you are going to have to... Yes, just something here... Perfect. Absolutely perfect, in fact. And now you can use... No, no, not that one. Do not make you mortal. Yeah, just a prayer knife. There we go. Alright. Everything is fine over there now. I'm still just gonna have her... Warp in... So then, you just attack with Spitfire, and then fall back, and then you're gonna get, like, I don't know, right here. Heal up Halden. Alright. And then, oh, right, I gotta buy this again. 
Fine. An Adept Sword. Chariot Bow. Leave the rest. Alright. We're good. My Noggin has been correctly used. We are going to get through this chapter together as a family. In hindsight, giving them even more defense. I mean, gotta look. With their stats, actually, like, none of them can hurt them. Like, lo actually looking at it, never mind, I'm fine. BB, wait right there. Uh-huh. All right. I got it. Well, it's time to see what happens. Get fucked. Okay. Everything's looking cash money right now. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great delight that I inform you, we have survived another turn. So Sheila has to be the one to talk to Zaid. Fine by me. Zaid, can I ask you a question? I'm killing demons. We can chat later. Excellent point. You know what else we're doing right now? All right, uh, ba -ba -ba. missed opportunity to say doing your mother. Spara, do I look like I'm someone who's so low brow he'll no, low brow he'll use your mom jokes? I only use mature and sophisticated jokes, like jokes about penis and cum. <sighs> well, now I feel even more awkward. Fine, ask me your question. You sure? How am I supposed to say no when you're looking at me like that? Just make it quick. Um, does Grandfather know about your past, Zaid? My past? Not all of it, but I made sure to tell him what he needed to know. Why are you asking me about this now? I don't know. I just got to wondering why he asked you to be my bodyguard in the first place. What does it matter at this point? You're his granddaughter, and he was worried about you traveling on your own. End of story. That's... not what I mean. You've always obeyed his orders without any questions, Zaid. Time and time again, you risked your life to protect me. You were doing that because you wanted to, right? Not because it was your job or your duty or anything like that. Sheila, you know how I dislike aimless chatter. If you've got something to say to me, just say it. I just want to know how you really feel, Zaid. You've been at my side for as long as I can remember. And at some point, I started to take you for granted. For an entire decade, I subjected you to all sorts of selfishness. Then a few months ago, I suddenly found out about your past. Now I finally understand why you always insisted on remaining an outsider, even when my family tried to welcome you in. Your mother and father, the Queen and Princess Amelia, the time you spent as a gladiator slave. It must have been so painful, yet you never shed a single tear. On the contrary, you gave your all to serve us and the rest of the Yappa. 
But now, I want you to look past all the duty, responsibility, and debt you may feel you owe us. I want to know how you really feel, and I want to be considerate of your feelings. I want to repay what I owe you, Zaid. So would you please be so kind as to tell me, deep down, what you really want? Sheila. I think that's the real reason Grandfather ordered you to serve as my bodyguard. What do you want to do once all this fighting's over, Zaid? Do you want to go to Spire and protect Princess Amelia? Do you want to return to your homeland and pay respects to your father? Or do you want to find your mother first? Don't hold back. I want you to open your heart to me. Well... Once the fighting ends, I think the first thing we should do is head back to Yappa Village. We should report back to the Elder, then visit your late grandmother's grave and let her know you're safe. After that, and if the Elder permits it, I'd like to serve in the Western Crusade. The Western Crusade? Yes. I abandoned my homeland after I grew sick and tired of the noble's decadence. But thanks to Lord Zadrian, I was able to serve in this crusade and find Princess Amelia. After this war, Lord Zadrian is going to team up with Kar Silton and liberate the West. And I wouldn't miss that battle for the world. That should also allow us to take Spire back from the demons and clear my father's name. I plan to locate my mother too, of course. So Sheila, if the Elder permits it, if he permits it... What? Would you be interested in coming with me? Uh, of course! Aww. God damn, your luck is abysmal. Alright. We had- Oh, Jonathan's stuck. He literally can't go past the Toxiduct. Well, then again, I guess he's not really supposed to follow us in there, so I guess that's fine. Alright. Let's... Let's just get things started. Hmm. Yeah, like, you can't... Like, congratulations, you have multi-strike. Alright, and then as for you... Yeah, this... Yeah, leaving the two of them there, at least, at least for the short term... Should be completely fine. I, I think. Yeah, okay. And then get ready to assist them later. Alright. Now these things, I... That might be a bit of a bit of a fucky-wucky going on over there. But we'll worry about that fucky-wucky later. The nether vent? Alright, sure. I guess I'm willing to accept that those have just always been things. Sure. Alright. Ramina. Kill this berserker. Excellent. Another point of magic, baby. I don't know what the fuck that's gonna be done. What's gonna like what I'm gonna do with that. But it's there. And then you Perfect. Alright. Carry Ann. I mean, I guess at this point I probably should just get warped in. I do like get the feeling like that that is the intended design space. Like, you are supposed to just get warped. Alright. Let's see, how well are you gonna do over here? I wanna give Zade some, um... Some time in the sun. And that was worth it, because that was a really fucking good level up. What do you have of that? Alright. Perfect. All of these ghosts are going to attack her and accomplish nothing. Alright. Oh, fuck. I didn't expect them to be ambush spawns. I forgot about that. Oh, that might not be good. Yep. Alright. 
leveling up. And the dragons are still kind of just hanging around. Mm-hmm. Fuck. They're all going after... Oh, God. Never mind! Wow! All of them went after Bonacell. Ooh, I just found some fresh herbs. Why did all of them go after Bonacell? You know what? Don't matter. I am okay with that. Yeah, yeah, ambush. Fuck off. And then you... No sense. Just not keep on doing what you're doing. Like, after this map, you're not gonna be- you aren't able to be used in the final map. So there is no reason to not just use all of your really cool sword. Or book, sorry. Like, at this point, I have nothing to gain by not just using that book. Um, mm-hmm. And you over there. Halden very technically still has EXP to gain, so... There we go. Okay. Now to deal with all of this shit. There we go. Yeah, huh? Kaga isn't holding back anymore, so neither should you. Very true. Very, very true. Let's just paralyze the enemy with a mop. You know, as you do. Mm-hmm. Then we morale boost. Then we just, you know, hit him with the old twin gore. Got him. Though I definitely do feel like we might need to, uh, kill them. Yeah, yep, hold on. This is doable. Go up. Kill. Go over. Trade. Kill. Perfect. Alright, got it. Now there is all of this, which, you know, believe you me, is definitely a fucking problem. But I think... What's his highest attack? Nine. You have, like, herbs? Okay, you do. Hmm. Wait, do you have, like, a flame bow? You do. You don't do nearly as much as I thought you would. Huh. I thought for sure that was going to do a lot more. This will probably win it for me, but I'm going to play it safe and go up with that next turn. What is it? Okay, yeah. Like, Bob is definitely capable of just fucking that guy in the ass. But I am pretty sure I want to just play it safe. And just wait right there. Um, you guys all moved. You all okay, there we go. Okay. So far. Ooh, that might be good to have around. Ow. How's this going to go? Do I win this?
I don't lose it. <laughs> that was a lot of emotions that just happened there. That's the kind of fight that dreams are made of. Alright. Save up. Gotta get Drake down here. Uh-huh. And he, yeah, he's gonna be able to open that door. We've got more levers. I hope you're a big fan of levers. Because this is the Vestaria Saga map for you. Now, here's, here's the question. I just have to see... Uh, uh, uh. All right. Time to do a little bit of prayer knifing. I, I think. Um, okay. Now, Fav gonna go up. think this is what you're better off killing. Very good. What is your current defense? 19. Which means that I have to express with the utmost unfortunate news, Abram is actually mortal. Somewhat. Nine times six is enough. Got it. Very, very good. All right. Now, as for you, Lever. All right, sorry. I hope you're a big fan of Levers, because this is the map for you. There we go. Um, You know what, Abram? You did all of that work to kill this guy. You deserve... You deserve the kill. I should have retreated when I had the chance. What an odd level up to have. All right. Then, um... Pike. Spear. Yeah, sure. Really? You're going to activate shield? That's cringe. Alright. We are doing some cool shit here. Alright, no, I'm not gonna make the same mistake twice. Everyone, get back. Get back to where you once belonged. Um, I am gonna wanna be careful about Mr. Silence over there, so we're gonna hold off on going any farther with that. Alright. I, I think... Yep, just hit end. Why am I getting a bad feeling about this? Uh-huh. Oh, another a level up for her. Yep. Ow. There are them dragons. Haven't left. Good lord, there's a lot going on. This guy's the big thing. I have to get rid of him. And I know... ...that this is how I want to do it. Because you need to activate something like that. Where you just swing at an enemy... ...until they die. Thank you, Halden. You beautiful, beautiful man. Alright, following that, you should be able to accomplish something very similar. There we go, baby. And a Shram will also do that. Alright, there we go. I've exposed too many... No, I didn't necessarily. 
Hold on. Damn it, she just does not have the strength to, um... But... I could just daze her. Oh, that's right. Daze doesn't work on magic units. Fuck. I'm an idiot, but not so much of an idiot that I'm screwed, because she can't actually follow up on that. Irene is fast enough to not die. Alright. I engaged in a mild stupid, but it's okay. My crippling case of dumbass idiot is not terminal. We will live to find a cure. Alright. Ask Master. Lever, what does that one do for me? Alright. Opened another one of those doors. Eventually, I'm going to be able to get back to there. I probably, like, a lever probably removes that stone statue. If I had to take a shot in the dark, I probably can just get rid of that stone statue eventually. Alright, let's, um... Let's kill you. You can't daze me, I can make fire. How the- yeah, that is just how the world works, according to Ka uh, Kaga. Alright, um... Bob, yeah, just go up. Champions axe him. Very good. Yeah, very, very good, very good. Cherry, I mean... Yeah! Weapons exist to be used. Let's examine... Some Octavo herbs. I happen to know a man who very much could use them. There we go. Alright. So far, this is just like every other Vestaria chapter. So much shit's going on, but none of it feels like I can't manage. Yet. Alright, let's see here. Your Margul's gift is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Alright, so I can move Sheila to right here, and it doesn't fuck with the system. Alright. Actually, you know what? If there's anyone that I would want to have an extra point of move, I just feel like it would be Zaid. Alright. Yeah, like, that's going to hurt, but again... Oh. You Why didn't you move before? I mean, I guess it's because, um... He just wasn't going to damage Phoebe? What? Alright. You know what? You know what? I don't know why you did what you just did... But, you know, just... Oh, wow, wait. I don't do a lot of damage. Fuck, I didn't realize how much not damage she does. Huh. Well, I guess the repeater bow gives the most chances for her skills to activate? Sure. Of which none will activate. Alright. All right, never mind. We're good. And she got some strength. All right, that was actually really good. That guy didn't even so much as attempt to um get to uh the boy. All right, sure. All right, and oh no, Zaid is silenced. <laughs> Fucking dumbass, silence Zaid. He's a physical unit. That's almost as dumb as paralyzing a magical unit. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, yep. Pull this lever. Okay. 
We are making progress. Ravina, I'm willing to assume... Yeah, you'll be fine. You'll activate a skill. Oh, you have first blood. You know what? Sometimes in life, you win because you dodge an 84. And that's okay. It is okay to be built different and constructed in an unorthodox fashion. There is nothing wrong with that. I might as well, fuck it. Okay. So... Alright, um, am loot. Just kill the... Yeah, kill Mr. Meteor. Get stats? Understandable. Oh my god, an all he... Wait a minute. All healing? Is that it? Does that do what I think it does? Yeah, no, that is exactly what I think it does. Alright, that is hot. Okay. You know, when I was told about this chapter going in, I thought it was going to be, like, ball-bustingly difficult. No, it's just fun. Chaotic as shit, but fun. However, there are all of those assassins at the top that still haven't done anything. And needless to say, I am incredibly worried about that. But... I regret to inform you all that it has been three hours, and that's when I tend to like to end my streams. So, for the final act of this stream, I am going to pull this lever. Absolutely incredible. Thank you guys very much for coming down to play. I am going to do what I always do when I finish a stream, and that is go raid someone who is currently playing Fire Emblem, unless my older brother is streaming and he always gets priority. He is currently streaming, he gets priority. He is playing- OH HE'S GOT AN AMUNGUS! Alright, my brother is currently fighting a Hippowdon with his Amoongus. So I would like to beseech you all Thank you very much God, what a good stream What a good stream Since I'm trying to raid him. Hang on, let me try this. We're, we're gonna get this going. Raid. Casey is sick nasty. Start raid. You're already raiding him. Am I already raiding him? I don't think I am. Oh, okay, now it's going. Twitch was just taking a very, very long time. Alright, if everyone could please join the raid for my brother, I would greatly appreciate it. Come on, only four of you? We normally have more people than this, come on. Uh, or something's weird's going on with Twitch. Hmm. Oh, they did show up. Alright, thank you guys very much.